my channel. Today we'll be doing a first impression and wear test of the new Benefit Professional Super Setter here. I have mine in the mini size. I don't know if I want to commit. This is supposed to be like a matte um, blurring type setting spray and I'm intrigued enough but I'm not such a huge fan of matte so I just kind of want to try it out with you guys today. Um, it, this um, setting spray has a lot of like huge claim. It, could, it seems like it could be a really good setting spray or really bad setting spray. Benefits trying to I guess pony off of their professional line with this one and I think this is a pretty decent launch for them. Let's go over some of the claims it says on the box. It says that it is all mist and no mess. No drops, no spots, no stickiness. A mist on smooth, even, feather-like cloud. So we will definitely see what that's like. It says that this is a multitasking microfine mist that leaves skin smooth, refreshed, and hydrated. It's alcohol free. It's supposed to lock in makeup for 16 hours. It's supposed to instantly blur pores. Um, I don't know about that if I'm being honest. I have a hard time believing that a setting spray can do that. That's a very large claim. Um, so we'll definitely test that out. It says it feels weightless and absorbs instantly. And it says <laughs> in very small print, it says instrumental test on 20 minute, 20 women. Um, that's, that's not a lot of people at all. Wow. Okay. So the rest of it is in a different language here. So 16 hour wear, supposed to instantly blur, mattify your skin. So basically what I've done today is I have placed the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, which I just uploaded yesterday a video and I did a wear test of this. And I thought this could be an excellent pairing here just for the fact that this one right here um, on my wear test, it did wear away and it does transfer. It's got a serum like consistency and I expected that there would be transfer it doesn't claim to be transfer proof but we do have transfer um issues on here um as well as this is a very dewy finish foundation as you can see so i thought what a what a perfect foundation not only is it fresh in my mind how it wears but also your guys's too um if you want you have the option to go watch that video and see how it wore um on me and, and my thoughts on the foundation so everything's kind of fresh and then we can try it on this and what i'm going to do is half my face so we're, i'm going to walk around today with half a matte face if this really does mattify and the other side dewy so we can really see see how this works. So we're really going to put this to the test today. Um, the other thing is kind of a bonus and what is what I have on my lips right now. I'm going to kind of do a wear test. So it'll be a, a, a double duty here. Um, but I'm testing out the Revlon Colorstay uh, Satin Ink. And this one right here is supposed to give like a moisturizing long wear, 16 hour wear um, matte liquid lipstick so here it is right here i've been wearing it i put it on i should have put it on on camera but i put it on already probably about 30 minutes ago and initially it's very sticky and it's a very moussey texture um but now it just kind of feels like a very waxy lip balm and it does have moisture to it it doesn't appear to like dry out my lips i don't feel dryness at all it's just a very weird thick waxy feeling um and it's not sticky but um i want to see how this wears as well guys and i have this in the shade eyes on you so it's one of the more lighter shades um that they had and if you look it does have like a satin type finish so um i do see a dew to this it it doesn't look like it's going to give butthole lips or anything but it does transfer so let's see i know um you guys want kind of are interested more if you click on this video with this but this product does transfer so i'm gonna kind of take a look at that but i don't think it's gonna be nearly as good as these uh uh, NYX Shine Loud lipsticks. These are an absolute hit. Absolutely love these. Um, I think you're probably going to have a hard time finding them because they are all over TikTok right now. Very hyped for good reason. This Revlon um, one, hmm, I'm not sure about that one just yet. This, it does look like it does transfer. 
also on this, I don't think it's on the box, but I read online, if you go on Ulta's website, this is available at Ulta Sephora. This I have the mini, and the mini is $15, if I didn't say that. And um, this claims to be transfer proof. So I don't think that's on the box, but if you look online, it says that this is like supposed to be lock in your makeup, basically 16 hour wear, transfer proof, humidity proof, all the bull crap um, that companies say. So we'll see if it's transfer proof. I don't know that I really have anywhere special to go today, but um, we'll see if it transfers if I leave uh, my house today, if it transfers onto a mask. Um, so we are really gonna give this a test. Um, the full size of this, I believe, is like $32 or $34. I'll link it right here. Um, it's like $32 or $34, and I'll put it put it right here with the price tag of this uh, full size product is. But we're just going to give this a test here. So let's check out the mister on this here. And um, this is what the packaging looks like. I didn't show that. And let's mist it. Let's see. It's supposed to be really full. Oh. I mean, it is a really good mist. I don't know if you guys can see. It's very fine, very fine. And that part, it is cloud-like, I do see that. So let's go ahead and go in, and we're only gonna do this half of my face. I really don't know how much to put on. I'm gonna go about that amount and see. <coughs> it does have a fragrance to it. I got some in my lungs. Um, this does have a fragrance to it, like a floral leaf fragrance, so if that bothers you, then you may want to stay away from this product. Right, I'm going to go in towards this bottom half here. It looks like it's a little dewy. Alright, I think that's going to be enough pumps here. Let's let that dry. I'm assuming because it's more mattifying that that's what's going to give the appearance of having smaller pores or a little more airbrush type skin. But I still see some dew coming through on my face. I don't know if you guys can tell. I do see some dew coming through on my face, but it does look matter than the other side. Let's. I'm going to kind of get up close and uncomfortable with you guys here. But um, so this is the dewy side, the side that's not been set. And then this is the side that has been set. And I, I do see a difference. I mostly see it right here in this area. But yes, there is a difference. Um, I still feel like it's definitely transferring. I feel like I didn't do enough sprays down this area. I'm still going to try. We're going to give this a really fair shot. I'm going to make sure that it's really good in the area here where my mask would hit to see if this really is transfer proof. Okay, that was a lot, but we are really going to give this a shot. So the problem with this is, it's such a fine mist that it doesn't really get on the face. That's kind of the drawback of this is um, it does, um, unfortunately, kind of go everywhere and not it's not directed on your face. But all in all, it won't, shouldn't ruin your makeup. You shouldn't get like those splatters all over your face. But yes, going in again... I've thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly sprayed this side of my face. You can tell it is matter. Um, as far as blurring goes, I mean, it's just matter. I think that kind of gives a little bit of a blurring appearance anyway. Um, so I'm not seeing anything crazy as far as that goes. Um, we're going to give this a second to dry, and I'm just going to kind of rub my fingers across my face and see if I can get any transfer off of it. And then we're just going to let this wear all day. And uh, we're going to see how this ends up looking. So going in and rubbing my face, I do have, a, you can't see it, but I did pull off some makeup. So I'm not, not transfer proof. Um, so I'm going to go on about my day, guys, and I will check back in with you guys. And I'm going to update you um, on the Revlon lipstick that I'm testing out today and the professional, um, the professional. Benefit Professional Super Setter here. Uh, we're going to give this all a try. I'm not thinking that uh, this is going to be anything revolutionary as far as setting sprays go. I'm honestly thinking that it's up there with the Urban Decay setting sprays or any other long-lasting setting spray on the market. I think it will probably extend the wear of your makeup. And my mattifier skin obviously does that. Um, but I don't think it's going to do anything 
it's not going to be anything innovative on the market right now as far as setting sprays go. This is going to be nothing that we haven't seen before. So um, I'll check back in with you guys here in a bit and you'll see how this All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, I think I put this on at 10 and right now it's 620. So that is about eight hour wear time here. So first you look at the side that um, didn't have any of the setting spray on it and this side did. Um, I didn't see like a huge difference if I'm honest. Even so this side is like just so slightly shinier but I like don't see too much of a difference in even the finish anymore um, of the foundation. There is some transfer, so it did transfer. I did go out today, I need to go to Walmart. I was putting my Christmas decorations away and I needed more tubs to put stuff in or the storage containers. So I did go out today, so I did wear a mask. It did, did kind of wear away. Um, it does look like, yeah, it looks the same. It looks the same on, on each side. In fact, I don't know if you can see, but this is the side that had the setting spray on it. And there's a huge divot um, in this um, little wrinkle here. And this is like a similar size wrinkle and it's not nearly as bad. So it looks like it actually made my makeup look kind of weird right there. And it kind of like sunk in, like it broke apart and the product kind of sunk in to the wrinkle there. So that's weird. I'm gonna be honest I don't like this and I don't think it's worth your money I think that this is like 32 or 35 dollars full price I'll put the price right here but um yeah this uh this product here doesn't do what it states um that it's gonna do and I don't think that my foundation I mean you guys can be the judge of that um I don't think so I don't know how it's looking on camera exactly but I just not seen I'm not seeing a difference in the mirror. In fact, like I said, like this wrinkle right here looks like a product settled in on it. Um, and yes, I do see some blush. It's still there, uh, but there's also still blush on this side. Um, the highlight's still there as well. Um, I don't think my makeup looks good and I don't think that, that this helped um, in any way. So if you were considering purchasing this, I say pass. Um, you probably have a matte setting spray in your collection if you have oily skin um, or you have other setting sprays on the market that are um, cheaper than this or better than this. I do not like this product. Um, and then as far as a lip, you can see that it did stain my lips. I don't know if you can see like it stained the outside of my lips. And to be honest, I don't like that. I would prefer for the lip product to just go away completely. I don't want a ring around my lips. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, as far as this goes, this lasted okay on my lips until I ate my lunch. Um, and then after lunch, what was left behind was like a ring stain around my lips. Um, I don't think that this is a terrible lip product. They don't want to bash it too much, but I don't think it's as good as the um, NYX Shine Loud lipsticks. These are hyped and for good reason. These are pretty good and I, I really do like these. I'm very impressed by this lip product. I don't think it's like the first of its kind. Um, I know that Revlon and um, Revlon and CoverGirl have something similar, maybe even Maybelline. So yeah, this lip product, I'd say pass on this too. I don't think it's worth your money. Um, if you want something that's transfer proof under your mask, get the NYX Shine Loud lipstick. But anyway, guys, if you guys appreciate content like this, I hope to be um, helpful to you. Um, so if you could uh, like my video and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye.